Welcome to another Biolegend Scientific Poster video. Today we focus on our new antibody, Clone 3A1, which specifically recognizes aggregated amyloid beta, but not amyloid precursor protein, which is also known as APP. APP can be processed in multiple ways. The amyloidic processing and cleavage of APP by beta and gamma secretase leads to the creation of amyloid beta peptide. Amyloid beta is naturally generated, but accumulates in the brain as we age. As such, it can form soluble neurotoxic aggregates and is a primary culprit of Alzheimer's disease. Having amyloid beta specific antibodies is vital to facilitating a better understanding of Alzheimer's disease and hopefully someday, the prevention of this currently incurable disease. Here we take a look at our new clone, 3A1, to better understand its advantages in aiding neuroscience research. As you can see in the figure, the amyloid beta sequence is highly homologous between mouse, rat, and human. Having an antibody that can solely bind to the human version of amyloid beta would be incredibly helpful when analyzing APP transgenic mice, since this model generates amyloid beta from the transgenic human APP and endogenous mouse APP. So, we tested our new 3A1 clone against other established and popular clones like 6E10 and M3.2. Human or rodent amyloid beta was immobilized to plates to test whether the clones would have reactivity. Both 3A1 and 6E10, which are directed against the end terminus of amyloid beta, only reacted strongly to plate immobilized human amyloid beta. Clone M3.2 was used as a control as this antibody only recognizes rodent amyloid beta. We further compared clone 3A1 against clone 6E10. We found that clone 3A1 reacted only to amyloid beta protein and not to amyloid precursor protein, while 6E10 reacted to both. This indicates 3A1 is a clone designed only to detect human amyloid beta protein. We also analyzed clone 3A1 to determine if it preferentially bound to aggregated or monomeric forms of the amyloid beta peptide. Aggregated forms of amyloid beta in particular are obstructive to neuronal function and are associated with Alzheimer's disease. As our data shows, the 3A1 clone bound to an aggregated form of amyloid beta called CAPS. CAPS is created by dityrosine cross-linking amyloid beta, amino acid sequence 1 to 40. 3A1 bound to CAPS with 700-fold higher affinity compared to the monomeric form. In comparison, clone 6E10 bound to monomeric and aggregated forms with similar affinity. We further confirmed our results in Western blotting, demonstrating 3A1's utility. Once again, we show 3A1 only binds to amyloid beta protein, with higher affinity for aggregates than the monomeric peptide. It did not bind to APP. Finally, we used clone 3A1 in Alzheimer's disease brain tissue. We performed immunostaining on formalin fixed and paraffin embedded tissue sections derived from normal and Alzheimer's disease brains. Similar to 6E10, clone 3A1 stained amyloid plaques in AD brain sections. As expected, no staining was observed with either clone on normal brain tissue. This further confirms the specificity of clone 3A1 in detecting pathologic species of amyloid beta in diseased brains. In conclusion, we demonstrate that our new clone, 3A1, targets the end terminus of aggregated human amyloid beta, and importantly, it does not cross-react with APP. The clone is useful in several applications, including ELISA's, immunoprecipitation, western blotting, and immunohistochemistry. Clone 3A1 provides researchers with a useful tool advancing research in Alzheimer's disease. Stay tuned for new scientific poster videos featuring Biolegend's latest innovations.